hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my youtube channel and i have one playlist where i'm covering a lot of uh, videos about hacker rank certifications and all so i will be adding few more uh, certification uh, videos like uh, i mean getting these certification is not an achievement do not consider them as achievement and do not add these certification to your resume it is just to get the practice i mean it's like a problem solving like you might be doing a problem solving with the data structure and algorithm questions so when it comes to the full stack node.js javascript react angular sql javascript basic intermediate then you can come here and you can do the practice okay but don't consider them you are now expertise you are having expertise in that because these certifications are very basics and time to time you can come and you can just uh, check your expertise in that particular technology okay so we'll start with uh, javascript basic okay so here we are for the javascript basics and i will just to continue one is a step counter and one is a node store totally new problem right let's solve this okay so in this challenge you are provided with the implementation of a simple counter object this is the main function and this is the get fixed counter so here we are passing some input and we need to write code here okay so this is our playground where we are going to write the code and let's understand this uh, your task is to implement a function step counter that takes a single parameter k returns a new object representing a step counter with the initial value of 0 with three methods increment increment the current object by k the value k decrement decrement the current value by k get value return the current value okay get fixed counter okay let's say the task is to implement a function step counter so this is a step counter which is taking uh, all these things let's say we have the value current value which is zero let's see this and the, then we have to return three functions this is what it is telling increment decrement and get value return the new object representing a step counter with the initial value zero so let's say we put the counter as zero and then we have three functions increment uh, okay i cannot copy increment is the first function and this is the function we have and we can access the counter value using this dot counter okay then we have other variables uh, other methods we have decrement decrement is another function which will decrement decrement the counter by value k and then we have get value the final function what it does is it returns the value return the current value so we are returning the counter so here is the thing this is the counter right so we have to bind this with this object so we can access it publicly return this dot counter and here decrement so what we are doing is this dot counter equal to this dot counter minus k and increment means this dot counter is getting increased with value k okay so this is what we are doing now let's see the input sample use cases like uh, a, the parameter k was 1 and then you did this increment get value decrement and get value on the output is uh, okay the value of k is 1 so increment it will increase the value to 1 get value will be 0 decrement will be uh, decrement will be 0 and get value will be 0 okay let's see the explanation in this test 
the k parameter for the first counter is 1 so each increment must increase the value by 1 so each decrement will must in decrease the value by 1 initially the counter value is 0 there are four operations to be performed the first then the first of them increment the counter so it has a value 1 now the second prints the current value of the counter the third decrease the counter to the 0 fourth prints the current value of the counter 0 okay so this is let, let's see the uh, let's run the tests and see this if it is correct or not okay there is an error then we can just use let I mean this is a private property let's see C dot increment is not a function. So we are running all the test cases and that is passing. Okay, now let's come to the, the argument why I bind the counter with this object. If you are creating the object here, right you are not creating the object here by calling get fix counter but when you do it something like this i cannot modify this but like this is the function you have written and sometimes what you do is const of is a equal to new you call the function and try to create the object of this then to bind the property with this object context you can actually bind the counter to this object but there is no need this is solving our purpose and test cases are passing because we are not creating the object here if you see in this code get fix counter we are just calling it and this is returning this object and we are just calling these different different methods okay so we can submit this now and we can move to the next question okay in this challenge the task is to create a class note store this class will manage the collection of notes with each note having state and a name valid state for notes are completed active and another okay so there are this is the class we need to add some methods so let's say the class will manage all the collections so we can say this is collection is an array inside this class and then we have these methods add note and we have another method get notes state okay add note is having two parameters state and name adds a note with a given name and a state to the collection if the past property is empty then it throws if the past name is empty okay this is the check we have to add then throws the error with message name cannot be empty okay so what we can do is here we will do some free checks like uh, if past name is empty then we have to throw throw new error and the error message is name cannot be empty and then we have another method if the past name is non empty but given state is not valid uh, then it throws error with invalid state with dollar state okay if name is valid then we can have another check here now we are saying that state can be state and name valid state for the nodes are completed active and others okay so we can see states states is an array and that is the valid states we can have active we can have completed and there is another state others if let's say you are passing the state which doesn't include in this right so this dot state dot includes if the the state which you are passing includes here doesn't include here that means it is invalid and we can throw the same error 
so new error and here we are saying invalid state and the state name I think or I don't know like is it a string or we need to have pass the state name I think it should be the state name so we can use the dollar state okay if the add note adds a note with a given name and state to the collection now if everything is fine we are not throwing errors so what we can do is this dot collection dot push I'm just thinking that if it can be an object so we are passing state and name get notes returns an array of name of notes with the given state added so far these names are returned in order corresponding to the notes were added if the the given state is not valid oh, and too many conditions if the given state is not valid notes then it throws an error with the message invalid state okay so we are passing a state so first of all we need to check if this state is valid or not we can check it using includes if this state dot includes dot state if it is true that means we don't need to throw this error otherwise okay it returns an empty array so what we need to do is we can just do this dot collection dot filter and here we are passing state so I can just say i dot state i dot state equal equal to the past state that should satisfy my conditions state names are case sensitive run code okay my output is showing object Let's see, get notes returns an array of names of notes with the given state added so far. That is correct. The name are written in order the corresponding. Okay, so let's see the custom example. Add note, active drink tea. Yeah, let's see how it is reading the message. So here we are doing all the operations and then it is expecting the array of key and value right because it is doing response.join so response we are expecting is an array we are returning only the state I think so what we can do is we are doing the filter get notes return an array of names of notes with the given state added so far okay got it so it is going to be the multiple because state can be multiple uh, active states and here we are returning only those state which are matching with this and it is not it should not return an object so we can do instead of filter uh, what we can think of is yeah filter and then we can do the map because we need only single property i dot what is another property i dot name and then it should be an object let's see uh, something is coming right your output is this invalid state foo cool now I think my output is matching up let's run the test cases oh that is good all test cases are passing so we haven't done any rocket science here it is very simple code we have written right add node state and name some pre checks and then we are pushing the data to the collection and based on the get node if the state is active then we are doing the first filter get all the collections where the state is active and return only the names doing dot map if the state is invalid 
you do the same kind of validations and submit this okay so our first certification is done uh, thanks everyone